Hello there and welcome back to this let's play of Knut Underground. So if you've made it so far in the series, that means that you also made it by my making a very annoying machine sound. And I take that to mean that you must really want to know how this game is going to end. And so do I. So let's see what we can make happen in this episode. I haven't been here for a while actually. So let's see, we had something to do down here. I think isn't this one of the very old sprite villages? Oh no, this is a fairy village, of course. <clears throat> knock knock. Catherine, hello sweetie, please come in. Actually, you're just swinging by. We're on some idiotic Meredith quest that me has here has to do. I heard about that. Oh, and is this your friend Dora? Pleasure to meet you. So, are you two? <laughs> oh no, she's friends. Uh, well, I had to ask. I'm sure you want to see Miriam, but she's not here. School stuff. I know. You do? Uh, if she'd been here, um, if she had been here, you would have never asked. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me try and see if I can actually read today. If she had been here, you would never have made it uh, to the door first. <laughs> so true. Seriously, she should consider racing as a career path. Anyway, uh, we need to be on our way. Nice seeing you, Catherine. You too. Too bad Miriam isn't here. She loves when you're around. I know. She looks up to you a lot. Take it easy. I get it already. I'll come by soon, like I always do. I promise. Well, that's nice. Um, I guess that's all we had down there. So for now, let's go up and see what this earthquake path um, will lead us to. Where it will lead us to, rather. And see, where do I want to go here? I guess I want to make a short stop here and then just move on. <clears throat> Almost there, actually. We know almost nothing about Dora actually compared to Celia by now. She does have a lot going on in her story. Ladies, I present to you the Red Pirate Collective. Oh, is this? Correct. It's the place where I was born. My parents founded this. So I guess now we will actually get to know something about Dora now that I just mentioned it. Anyway, um, nice. So whole families live here. Yeah. Though mine just consists of me, of me and my dad. Oh well, parents living together. Oh, I raided. I mean, as if it did me any good. Dad, it's Dora. Oh, he's not home. That's weird, maybe? Where's your mother, by the way? Super close, to the west. We could go see her now, actually. Okay, sure, why not? Let's do that. This place looks a little spooky. Alright, almost there. So, do you see your mom often? Yeah, well, in a way. In a way? What does that mean? Wait. You're in trying to pull some dramatic shit now. She's not gonna turn out to be dead or something like her place isn't her gravestone. I guess I was trying to build up to it. No gravestone though, she was cremated. Hmm. This is a spot. It's more a feeling than an event. I was way too young to grasp it. I remember searching for my mom here, like if she would come back or something. Do you remember much about her? Well, kind of. I do have memories, and there are also the things Dad told me. Though, I get the two mixed up. I don't see it as a problem, though. I mean, I'll just ask her later. Huh? Oh, you mean in the next life or something? Yeah. Like, everything happens for a reason. Even the bad stuff. In the end, everything will be put right. And I'll instill that way to forever. Well, it's what I believe. Wow, some heavy stuff here. <clears throat> How do you deal with it? I mean, if the thing could just disappear into the great void. I'm just scared of dying. Dora, I really want you to be right. 
Then why don't you? If believing would modify reality accordingly, I'd be more than happy to. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. Hmm. How does she know that, actually? Um... I mean, it would be very unintuitive if that was the case, but still, that in the story, still not home. All right, so now we know a little more about Dora as well. <clears throat> Dora? Yes. A bit unrelated to your mom and that stuff, but every time I learn something about you, it's all just very inconsistent. It depends on who you ask. Wait, actually, it depends when that person asks, or, or when that person knew me. Um, what were you at that, at the care center for anyway? Oh, nothing really. Well, I may have tried to kill myself. <laughs> Only a little bit. Holy fuck, really? Yeah, I wasn't very good at it. Okay, there used to be a super insecure girl um, who hurt other people to feel better about herself or something. Later, she was depressed and tried to kill herself. Thing is, that wasn't me. It's some other girl. I just have the same name as her. That and all her memories. And her body. Still, I'm not her. It's how it feels. Does it make any sense? I think I get it. And how did you change so? What happened? See, I don't think you'd understand. Try me. I'm not stupid, you know? No, really. It's just not your thing. Wait, this isn't some spiritual bullshit, right? <clears throat> like you didn't meet God or something. So you need to trust me, you're not ready to hear it. Well, seems like a pretty educated guess. Or maybe something more serious happened. Not that I guess meeting God isn't serious. It seems to work for for a whole lot of people, so... I guess maybe we will find out later. Oh! Crystal Path, of course! If you find any pixies outside Crystal Path, please bring them here. We are bringing these. That should mean all of them, right? Thank you. This means a lot to us. So, where is our big reward? <laughs> Thank you for returning the last pixies to us. I do not have anything to offer, but I promise that your reward in heaven will be big. Well, seeing as apparently we can't die, that doesn't really help us a whole lot, does it? Oh, well. I guess that's just the way things are then. Uh, let's make it to our far left here, just because it seems like we haven't been there yet for some reason. Uh, is this guy saying anything new? Um, I already went through this once. Um, our reward in heaven, I wonder what that means. <clears throat> so one thing about almost all of the Knut Stories games are that they had more than one ending. And I imagine the same is true for this one. And probably the ending is affected by our progress through the game or something like that. It could be r r wrong um, here, of course. And as I have been before when trying to guess what this game is actually about. But, I mean... One guess would be that we're somehow changing the possible outcome of the game. I guess we'll see. Also, I think the uh, disorder plays a role in that. And unfortunately, I'm not really sure if I'm using it to the extent that I should. But we'll find out eventually, won't we? Of course, if I don't get any possible secret endings, that would just mean that you guys would have to go and try and figure those out for yourself. Which is not the worst thing that could happen either. So it seems like I want to use the... Um, bring the yellow power up all the way to the right here. Go up here, bounce, and go up. So you see enough? So what did we get now? What is that? Moon triangle. The word feel is, is inscribed into this triangle. Weird. I wonder what we need these things for, actually. Maybe we'll find out eventually. Anything else happening here? A big jump that made me scared for a second. And something up there as well. How do I get up there? Is there a yellow power up somewhere? Hmm. Weird. Seems to be some very, like, Egyptian-y stuff going on here. 
Uh, Alright, so already been down there, so that can't possibly be it. So I must be missing something. Possibly to the far left. Secrets. Yup. Um, that only brings us up here, though. What is this? Whoa! Alright, <laughs> I got very scared. My hair rose all over my body, so these guys don't kill me for some reason. It's a little curious. This is a very strange place indeed. We're doing some very Indiana stuff, Indiana Jones -y stuff right now as well. And this is another one of these Sun Triangle. The word C is inscribed into this triangle. I see. No pun intended. Um, so where else do we want to go? We have a couple of areas here that we haven't been to yet. I imagine most of them are related to Yotsupioka, so that we can't quite go there. Um, but I still want to check it out. Also, there's a quest market down here, um, where there was a guy that just flew past before. So maybe I want to go down there, and then... Should I do it in this order? I'm not sure. I could also go to the Bell of Fate immediately, perhaps. And, um, and then check everything else out on my way to the final bell. I think that's the way I want to pro um, progress here. And I didn't want to go that... <laughs> I didn't want to go down here at all. That's not what I wanted to do. Stupid gravity. Um, can I make my jump all the way over there actually to begin with? Yeah, I think so. This game would have been so impossible without a map. Although I kind of like games that kind of force you to remember where you have been and where you're going. Um, of course, it doesn't work very well for someone like me who only plays this game once every... Um, or twice a, couple, twice a week, maybe. Um, but still, I mean, for shorter games it would, tends to work pretty well, I think. Um, Alright, so... Sticking to what I said I wanted to do. Um, let's go to the left here. So I don't think we need this yellow power-up right now. We might have needed it to um, to get up to the Egyptian area that we just went through. Let me just save the game in case anything happens. And make my way upwards. Um, there are, yeah, of course there is a question mark right over here, which might be a quest, um, and which might require me picking up some items in this uh, general area. So why don't I just forget everything that I just say and uh, said and go do that instead? Because apparently that is how long I can stay concentrated at one particular um, task in this game. Right. So I believe one of the, uh, the, the quest here is with one of these tail guys. Or I guess these aren't tails. What are they called again? I forget. Uh, Ikateri. It's a very Japanese sounding name and a very Japanese looking beard, isn't it? Me, Dora and Celia. Hmm. Me, Dora and Celia. Me, Dorcia. <laughs> what is this? Dorcia. No, Dorcia. Do me, Dori. Hmm. Jimmy, oh? No. It's not working. Me, do Miracil. Wait, Miralia. Hey, I got uh, I got to call you something simple, right? Uh, you always ca uh, come in threes these days. Just like all good things. Did you hear about uh, the temple? Lots of people moved into it recently. I guess it's a temple we just came from, maybe? They call themselves the Esoterics. Uh, they don't really have a common philosophy. It's just people who weren't accepted by another emeritists or the internet. The Esoterics, I guess they're called, not Esoterics, are some downright crazy characters with quirky uh, spiritual beliefs door here. Uh, they need to have something in common apart from the name, right? Well, they do have the codex. There's only sh two short rules, but they put them uh, in this huge book. It's really make a point. Whoa, what's in the codex? The first rule is an esoteric embraces the eccentricity in oneself. 
Um, the second rule is an esoteric eccentricity in others, or at least tries to cope with it. Hmm. It's a bit sad. I like the idea of accepting each other, but they put that so negatively. What? It's just a healthy dose of self-deprecation. Um, they're crazy, but at least they know they are. I like that. You think everybody is crazy, Celia. Well, if there is one truth and a hundred beliefs, 99 must be wrong. And with so many being wrong, uh, this must be that the last one is wrong too. <laughs> Stop abusing mathematics. Yes, please. Be sure to check out the Temple of the Esoterics. We'll trade a uh, lot of unusual items. Fair enough. And um, that's... Um, what is that place then again? I'm not completely sure. Alright, so let me go check up on this area here that I haven't gone to. Which might be part of the um, Yusopioka. But let me go check it anyway. Yeah, I'm currently a, uh, a doing a degree in mathematics myself, so I can follow this uh, tail-looking Japanese-looking guy when he says that whatever Celia is trying to to make a point of doesn't really make sense, even if it was based on logic. But that's fair enough. I mean, if we can use logic, why not also abuse it? Not sure that's that makes sense from a logical standpoint either, but um, who requires sense, right? Oh, who do we have here? Re. Oh, it's Re. <clears throat> hey, sis. I'm just checking up on your place. Uh, you suck with flowers. Did you know that? I relocated your victims to my house permanently. Uh, fun fact: they feed on water. My victims? Wait, what? There was an earthquake yesterday. Um, it closed off the tunnel to Doe's place. I worry about him. I tried to find a way to reach this place myself, but... Well, you're the adventurous runner, after all. Besides, you have that awesome bouncy power. If you meet him, um, you know, the thing about you being selected for that mirror this ritual? I uh, know there is some kind of rivalry going on between you two. Um, I hope he goes easy on you. Oh, in the temple, the guy who guards the bell collects rare flowers. He might let you uh, through if you give him a few. Take this one, and please, try not to murder it. Be careful out there. My victims, does that mean like... I'm a little bit confused. Maybe you guys out there know what that was about? Because I don't quite. So anyway, I guess the temple that they're, the other guys were talking about is the temple to the west that we have already been to. Um, so for now, let's go down and see what we have. And I guess this is the earthquake le leading to Doe's place, isn't it? So, do you guys see where it is? You're probably seeing it immediately. Oh, it's right up here, actually. So... I think I will... Um, be distracted from my quest my once again. And try and check out wh uh, what's up with that guy. Our brother, I suppose. So, can we make it up here? I don't think we've been up there before. That was easy enough. <coughs> This one could be more tricky, though. I see what we have to do, though. I feel like maybe we should have, like, met Re earlier in the game. Um, seeing as this is pretty close to where we began our quest. I mean, of course, this is where we started the first chapter, but it's also pretty close to where the third chapter started. Um, Alright, another coin. So let's go check out the two holes that we have up here. Um, who's this again? That's Maduri. Um, I feel like maybe we should start spending coins on crystals because I feel like crystals are um, the only thing we really need coins for now, right? Because... Um, oh, what will the last um, Bell of Fate Keeper require from us? Maybe we should keep a couple of coins and then spend the rest on crystals. Would that make sense? I have three dimension crystals. Uh, how many crystals do we have? We have 13. Let's buy... Let's buy two. Here you go. Did you know there is a small rainbow in the disorder around yourself? That's your aura. When it disappears, run, find an exit. I kind of figured that already, actually. Um, 
seeing as I fell so badly twice. All right, so I guess this does just lead us back again into Utopia again. So maybe that is what we want to do right now. But also, I kind of want to go see Doe, don't I? All right. Let's try and see if we can make something happen here. And where? what's my plan? Let's first check up, up, right, down. And I know the map doesn't work that way, but let's just try it anyway. So up, up, right, um, down. And see what we have. Nothing at all. So it seems like maybe the map does actually work like that. But... Um, I guess it does, actually, yeah. I'm not sure why I, what I was confused about there. Um, or I guess that's just kind of how I work in general in this game. I also want to make sure I don't somehow end up taking one of the weird exits that lead me to a place in the middle of, um, of everything again. So I want to stay kind of on track now and maybe go straight to the Bell of Fate, if that is going to be possible. Seems like it should be, right? Just up here and then straight to the left. Oh, <laughs> I always hate it when I get out of the, um, out of Utopioka like that. But this kind of looks right though, doesn't it? There is actually a Bell of Fate in Utopioka. It's very strange, but let's ring it. All right, so that should be the last of the ordinary ones. Now we can actually, we should be able to go to the last one. The final bell awaits. Sarcastic statement about the pointlessness of this mission. Expression of belief that it will soon be over. And uh, was it really for belief anyway? Well then, super clever statement that makes Celia realize Dora was right about the bells all along. Death rate, insult. <laughs> uh, oh, those fairies. All right, so what do I want to do here? I want to check out the areas of... Wait, what? What just happened to you? So we okay, wasn't... Wait. Here it is. I'm so super confused. Oh. <laughs> oh, and super bad at jumping, apparently. Let's check out all the areas on this side of Utopioka. Um... Also, now we actually figured out as a bit that we didn't even need to go into Utopia to proceed with the game, because otherwise we would have never uh, gone to that bell. I'm also, I'm never really sure when I'm in Utopia and when I'm out, because the areas in general are just so weird. Good thing that we got the map, though. It makes everything so much easier. Um, right, so we still have a couple of areas to navigate around in. So even though I was a little bit uh, angry about it in the first place, I like, now sort of like how the game forced us to go back to some of the old areas that we once got, uh, had gone to uh, and revisit those. Um, just because it kind of gave us an obvious opportunity to do so. Still not completely sure what's going on here. I guess your tapioca just works now, unlike before. Um, or does it? This place seems very similar, very familiar, except there were um, exits on all sides, and there don't really seem to be any here. <coughs> so I guess this is just one more case of feeling like. And uh, we're out of Utopia, okay, when in fact we're still very much in it. Yeah. So this is kind of like the false exit that leads to one of the entrances of Utopia, okay, if that makes any sense at all. It should make at least as much sense as um, Utopia okay itself does. Which is unfortunately not a whole lot, but... This is the exit that I was talking about. Exactement. So let's head on to our left here. 
where we see a safe room. And you probably know what I am going to say now. Thank everybody for watching. And I will see you some other time.